Hi, I'm a tax attorney, Darren Mish from Tampa, Florida, and I'm here today to answer a question that comes up quite a bit, and it goes like this. The, the person asking the question says, can they take my child support balance from my wife's income tax? And furthermore, they say, here's some facts uh, related to this question. It says, I was recently married, but prior to that, I have a child support balance owed. Can they take this balance from my wife's tax return? She has nothing to do with my past tax debt, and I don't think that this is fair to her if so. I heard from someone about filing your taxes under something called an injured spouse or something of that nature. It would be great to get some insight on this situation. Thanks in advance. So I think you're exactly right. I think the injured spouse actually will uh, be the right thing to do in this case. And it's uh, the form number is Form 8379. You can go to the IRS's website at irs.gov and click the Forms and Publications link on the left and then just simply search for form number 8379. But I thought I would go one step farther here and, and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the form. <clears throat> Here's a copy of it. And uh, as, as you can see, it says injured spouse allocation and it's form 8379 again. And it's pretty straightforward in terms of, it's one of the easier forms, I think, to go ahead and fill out. There's some yes or no questions. And basically what you're doing is you're allocating your income versus your spouse's income. So let me give you an example. If you earn $50,000 a year as a W-2 wage earner and you had $5,000 withheld from your, from your paycheck and she was uh, an income a wage earner and she had $30,000 uh, of income and she had $3,000 uh, earned or $3,000 withheld from her paycheck, that would be $8,000 total tax withheld. If your part of the tax debt was 50% and hers was 50%. And actually, it's kind of a, it, it's not exactly right in the scenario that I gave, but basically, they take your proportionate share of the tax refund. So let's say your share of the tax refund was $2,000 and your share of the tax refund was $1,500. You don't get the whole $3,500 back, but they would keep your $2,000 and she would get her $1,500 tax refund back. Hopefully, that answers your question. Um, in a nutshell, no. I mean, creditors or the IRS or the or even child support they can't keep your your spouse's uh, income uh, tax you know, tax refund because they're actually innocent in this situation and since there's something else called innocent spouse the IRS had to call it something different so they called it injured spouse and in this case your spouse would in fact be injured if they kept her tax refund so hopefully that answers your question thanks for watching